It's one hour clutch. Squat! What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Duck. It's your boy Ross. And we're in the clutch. Hey. hey. Back to the general of the visit today, you feel me? So, we got to talk about... Uh, John Morant. Well, as they're calling John him now on, on Instagram and on Twitter... Ja Warrant, as in warrant for his arrest. Or that's John. that's the that's John the trick. Wick. Yeah, John Wick. You know what I'm saying? His, his <laughs> real name's Clarence. You know what I'm saying? Man. This this whole situation with Crazy Ja fam. has been going on for I want to say the past few weeks. I know he had some type of altercation uh, after a game or whatnot, and then there was reports coming out that he allegedly got into it with a like a 17 year old. Um, yeah, last summer, mm-hmm, like that started coming out, and it was, it was like, it was one of those things where you know, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was I guess you could say, started heating up for him, and you would think someone would kind of, kind of chill, lay low, yeah. just focus on their game, and and you know, trying to get past whatever the situation is for you know for it to blow over. No, but Dawson, like, said, Nah, man, I'm about the right foot creep. You know what I'm saying? Be in my Damn. NBA young boy bag. And I mean, when one thing come out, bro, you know it, they they find the history. Mm-hmm. And next thing you know, all these other reports of things that mm-hmm. uh, allegedly happened ended up you know being brought to the forefront. But I will say, John Morant, I'm not gonna lie, fam. He, he's in a position. I know a lot of people were kind of going back and forth about uh, growing up in the hood, you mm-hmm. know, supposedly, and you know, trying to battle with being a new millionaire and a person mm-hmm. with money and you know kind of embracing that celebrity and learning how to deal with it but i don't know i don't really subscribe to that all the way i feel like he's been in the league about four years now mm-hmm. um he's a two worth more than 200 million of course that's just with his contract with memphis mm-hmm. you know not in uh including his deals and stuff like that with the uh brands and stuff like mm-hmm. nike uh and powerade but when you think about it bro you in a position now that you can help the people from your hood or whatever be on yeah. And that's if you were brought up in the hood, you yeah. know, just because you're in a two parent household. I know people are arguing that point. That don't mean you wasn't brought up in the hood. Yeah. And that doesn't mean you necessarily grew up grimy. Yeah, 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 yeah. In a grimy situation, you know, so I do feel like, I don't know, it's just, it's just, I feel like, you know, when we get to that certain level of, of celebrity, we should be able to step away. Like, that's the whole point of surviving in the hood is to make it to the point to where you don't have to do the things that you're doing before Facts. and i don't give him too much of you know an easy pass with that being four years you know mm-hmm. of him being into some money like that so for a lot of people that are saying like oh man it takes some time for a young and he's young which i know he is and i know yeah. from this situation he's gonna bounce back he's gonna see that his actions are really you know it's, it's taken serious man because now you're a role model you know, mm-hmm. you got kids looking up to you. You got kids hitting the gritty because of you. Mm-hmm. You know, there's so many people with their eyes on you. You're a young talent that's flashy, and people are, you know, they're prone to, you know, be attracted to what's the biggest and most hip thing that's going on. Yeah. And that's definitely something that you bring into the table. So you got to be very mindful of the message you're sending out there to these young kids. And you got to also be careful of who's in your circle, bro. Facts. If they're your real friends, they don't let you go in the club. Apparently, he was in the club. And they don't let you shirt off. You know, <laughs> they don't let you go on live posting the pea shooter. You know what I'm saying? It's a, you know, granted, it definitely was a pea shooter, look like a pea shooter, but it was a gun. And you don't if I'm if I'm somebody's real homie and I want the best for you genuinely, I'm not there because you a meal ticket, bro. Like, nah. Nah, I'm like, nah, don't do that, bro. Thanks. Like First of all, don't even bring that in here. You don't really need that. You good, you know what I'm saying? Don't bring that in if here. If that's the case, we got you. Yeah, you yeah, know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like if you the meal ticket, yeah, the people around you are supposed to be the ones that make sure you good protect you. So that that I hope he takes that into consideration because your real friends shouldn't let you just you know fall by the wayside. Right. You know what I'm saying, especially if they know you. You know you're a, a, a high profile athlete. That you know that's like seeing fucking LeBron in the club brandishing a weapon. And yeah, he's like the bro. face of the league. Yeah. And anything he does wrong, you know, is going to get scrutinized. So, of course. especially if you're a face of a franchise, because he's the face of the Grizzlies, bro. Like, people recognize, they, you know, they know the Grizzlies and they recognize him, especially since he's improved his game mm-hmm. since he got in the league. So, at the end of the day, Monster. you know, you, you have to be able to be aware that you can't move like everybody else. You can't Thanks. move like how you did before you got, you know, 
uh, before people start really knowing who you were, because now everybody's looking at you. Yeah, and especially sure. with this whole situation and how this whole, you know, he's done an investigation. They're doing an investigation about this uh, this situation with the, the minor or whatever at the time. Like, you got to, now you got to even move even more carefully and cautiously because, you know, people are waiting for you to, you know, kind of mess up and slip up. So. And especially, some, bro, I would have been moving squeaky clean. You know Facts. what I'm saying? Like, if I got a, a case pending or whatever it is going on, man, I'll be making sure I'm not trying to be on nobody's camera doing nothing crazy. I ain't mm-hmm. trying to be reckless. I ain't listening to um, nothing that's involve a gun. <laughs> man, at all, fam. Man, I'm not young boy to nothing. No, all things. No NBA young boy, you None. know what I'm saying? At least not publicly. Nah, you do that Do that at the crib. Do and it, look, it looks away, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's 23 years old, I get it. He's young. Mm-hmm. And I do feel like he's going to bounce back. He's going to learn course. from this mistake, fam. And I pray that he does as well. Oh, for sure, um, for sure. I pray that everybody understand everybody has to grow up and mature mm-hmm. so hopefully this was probably that thing that was just like all right you yeah. know how sometimes you got to hit your head a few times mm-hmm. until you realize oh, okay that is concrete you yeah. know and then now he can probably make the change that he's supposed to not only elevating his game but elevating who he is as a person no. uh with just you know on the inside and all that to kind of portray that message to kids because bro it's a lot of youngins mm-hmm. that, that pay attention to john Morant. um so i want to read his uh his apology message. He said, I take full responsibility for my actions last night. Uh, I'm sorry to my family, teammates, coaches, fans, partners, the cities of Memphis, and the entire Grizzlies organization for letting you down. Uh, I'm going to take some time away. Yep, definitely got to <laughs> remove yourself from all social medias mm-hmm. to get help and work on learning better methods of dealing with stress and my overall well being. Um, that's definitely needed. I know that's PR related mm-hmm. when it comes to these messages, but it's needed for him to take some time away, man, kind of get an understanding, let, it, let this kind of blow over. Stop coming back, and when your teammates make a shot, shooting, yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah, you got bad gestures and you know, stuff like that. The, the timing of it, the I get it. He's shooting the shot, impeccable. shooting the J and stuff like that. That's cool, but it's just the timing of you got to really be, like, you got to be more uh, conscious of, you know, you know, the temperature in the room. And yeah. right now, anything dealing with you and guns, no, keep that away. Yeah. And you know, unfortunately. You know, this is a lesson he had to learn. Yeah. And uh, hopefully, you know, I'm sure he will be able to bounce back. Like I was saying, for just make sure whoever's in your circle, bro, make sure they good, man. And I, I want to, before we end the video, I want to kind of talk about the, the Paul Pierce situation. He was like, you oh, know, yeah, he, understands. He, was, he understood. But I think what people, <clears throat> I don't think Paul Pierce understands the situation that him being, you know, having a gun to protect himself and nobody knowing about it is different, different when you have a gun and you're not flashing not, it. you're just flashing it so yeah. i understand him being like you know i stand in in support of him because you know i was a player that got attacked and i had to you know have be a weapon but that's different than when you on instagram live jamming uh the latest nba young boy flashing the pea shooter yeah. you ain't protecting yourself from nothing and, at that, and point. that whole situation is different bro because yeah john moran has really been in a kind of ongoing battle when it comes to like the affiliation mm-hmm. the, it seemed like it kind of seemed like how his lifestyle you try to embrace the gang culture a little bit mm-hmm. you know how it just looks around him so mm-hmm. that's only different from Paul Pierce because this has been something that people have been talking about you know about him for a minute I don't mm-hmm. remember with Skip I mean when Shannon would say that about how bro this, you're not like that it's not your life like you know you don't have to be yeah. acting like someone that you don't have to you don't really have to portray this life because this is not you fam you worth a multi, you multi-millionaire fam yeah, like multi-millionaire, there's no reason why you're out bro. here moving in this type of you, you know like tell me man yeah at I'm all good. bro, I'm, <laughs> I'm, yeah, bro yeah, I'm gonna have security on me because yeah. i know people crazy yeah so i ain't trying to say nothing about you trying to protect yourself because yeah. i know folks everybody don't know how to handle themselves when they see a celebrity so Mm-mm. i get that but at the end of the day i'm not finna be on on live and you know with the homies with certain homies yeah i know certain homies not to be bringing to certain places Facts. and that you means that. you need to be moving away mm-hmm. from that group and changing your circle fam mm-hmm. because that energy is real energy is real yeah. what what energy you put out there comes back to you so every if time, you want to be time. on that gang energy trust me you're gonna have to live a gang lifestyle and that shit ain't times. fun <laughs> that ain't fun man so hey let us know down below how what y'all, y'all think, feel about man? the whole john morant situation do y'all uh feel like 
the the ridicule is just warranted or do y'all feel like maybe people are taking it a little bit too far yeah. or whatnot let us know y'all opinions on it we like doing these, thoughts. these type of commentary style videos to get y'all opinions on certain uh um certain current topics yeah and let us know uh what other ones mm -hmm. that y'all would like to see us talk about man and again comment down below your thoughts man continue to run up the like and subscribe What's before up? you get up out of here man continue to spread love be love that's all we want to do is push love around here this world needs it so continue to share and catch y'all in the next one peace out Alrighty. Bitches from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.